Ah, oh, sugar, dun 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 dun. I wanna know what love is. You are my souffle, babe, and you got me wanting you. Yeah. Oh, happy Valentine's Day! <laughs> Oh boy, now that I've run through my repertoire of songs, I can't get started without my recipe. I just don't know. <gasps> there it is. Chocolate souffle for two. Perfect. So the first step is to get your ramekins ready. So we're just gonna butter the inside of our ramekins. Two layers of butter. And now, all you're gonna do is dust the inside of your ramekin with the cocoa powder. And to get it, you're gonna want the sides coated as well. So all you need to do is kind of roll this around and tap, tap, tap. And you're gonna want it up as high to the rim as you can get it to make sure that nothing sticks. The base to this is something called a creme pastisserie. So that is a, it's a French word. It's basically a pastry cream that does have some flour base to it. That's gonna give us a little stability. So I have a teeny tiny amount of flour. So that's going in right there. Then we're gonna add some caster sugar, salt, a little bit of cornstarch. That's gonna give us a little bit of extra stability. So now we're gonna add our eggs. So we're gonna do one whole egg and one egg yolk into this. You're gonna reserve the other egg white for a future step in this recipe. Okay, so now we're just gonna give this a whisk, get it all together. Let's uh, heat things up, huh? We gotta melt down some chocolate cause that's the, that's the sexiest part of this recipe. It's chocolate. All right, we're gonna start with some heavy cream. <laughs> whole milk, nothing sexy about that. Just uh, plain old whole milk. I got two kinds of chocolate. We've got semi-sweet and bittersweet. And then for a little added extra chocolate, there's just a teaspoon of remaining cocoa. Look at that. Oh, just right in there. Right in the pot, you know? <laughs> Everything's so awkward. You're gonna wanna keep an eye on this. You don't want your chocolate to burn. So we're just melting it down. We're just gonna let it get nice and smooth, just like my lines. Oh, smart cookie. Fact of the day. Six million people get engaged each year on Valentine's Day. It's also, besides Christmas, the holiday with the largest amount of cards sent. Oh, are we melted already? Gosh, see, all you have to do is recite the facts that you learned and suddenly this is all done. We are gonna go into this dish that has our eggs and our flour in it. You wanna do it off the heat because you only want this chocolate mixture to get hot enough to melt the chocolate. Any hotter, you're gonna risk um, cooking your eggs with the hot chocolate and cream which is not what you want, because then you're gonna end up with like a scrambled egg souffle and nobody wants a scrambled egg souffle. That doesn't sound good. So we're just gonna give this a stir and then we're gonna go back in the pot and we're gonna cook over low heat for about five minutes. Remember that, uh, remember that egg white that we uh, reserved? It's back. Great, throw your egg white in your bowl. Look at these, I got two more little eggs here. So you're gonna get three egg whites for this. Separate these guys. And all we're gonna do now, we're gonna whip it up. Your egg whites should just look like a really soft pillow. Like a, like a lovely, a lovely bed of egg white. Okay, then we're just gonna do a little, a little sprinkle. Ooh. Your instinct might be to crank this up to 11, but like keep it at an eight or a seven, because otherwise you're gonna overbeat the eggs and they're gonna be weird, like me. Oh yeah, do you see that? Look at that, look at that, it's lovely. It's exactly how it's supposed to be. This is what's gonna inflate the souffle. In fact, souffle comes from the French verb, which means to inflate or to puff. Now we're gonna bring back our lovely creme patisserie our chocolate that we've been working on and start folding it together. All right, so now that that is fully combined, we can go back to our little ramekins. We're just gonna spoon this lovely souffle batter. Oh my, doesn't that look lovely? It does, it does indeed. You're gonna wanna try to get out as many air bubbles as you can, so we're just gonna tap these 
Oh yeah, great. And then the last thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my finger and go right around the edge. That's gonna help the top of this stay even. All right, these are ready for the oven. They're gonna go in for about 25 to 30 minutes. And then we'll have a souffle. Look at this one-handed stove. Oven, yes. Our souffles are in the oven, so now we're gonna make our mocha sauce, which is gonna be like our, our crowning joy, just like my love for you. We're just gonna pour some heavy cream. I've got some more semi-sweet chocolate. We're gonna go ahead and put that in there. All right, to make this mocha, we've got some instant espresso. Throw it right in there. Oh, it's already smelling good. Okay, so once your chocolate has melted and your coffee granules have dissolved, final touch, Kahlua. We're just amping up the coffee flavor. Kern syrup, and don't forget a little bit of vanilla. And now you're just gonna let this cook for about, on medium low for about five minutes. All right, let's check our, yep, 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 ready to go. Look at this guy, look at this guy over here. This guy I think is my fave. Look at that hi hat. Quickly before they deflate, we've got some vanilla bean ice cream. Oh yeah, this looks like my definition of special. And the piece de resistance. Mocha sauce. Oh yeah, chocolate, what's up? Mmm, mmm. If that don't make you fall in love, you got something else going on and you need to talk to a therapist about it. I sure hope that you are having a fantastic Valentine's Day and that you enjoy these souffles with the person you love. If so, please make sure that you like, subscribe, share, comment. Tell me how it goes. I hope you have a stupendous Valentine's Day. You keep looking fly, sweet thing.